study says that if your kitty has short fur and a light complexion, you should apply an SPF 30 to their belly before they lay out in the sun. We're really talking about this. Mm -hmm. Wow, there's also a study revealing that nine out of 10 people are overwhelmed by the millions of surveys they see in the news every day. There are, there's so many, aren't there? So many. Well, Erin Christie attempts to cut through the confusion of the endless health studies on The Breakdown. The study shows a new way to keep off the pounds, drink red wine. I'm so confused by health studies, aren't you? A new study suggests the best way to lose weight, drink water. Well, so much for drinking eight glasses of water a day in order to lose weight and stay healthy. A recent study says that the practice could actually be harmful. Researchers want to help us get healthier. The more frequently you eat chocolate, the lower your body mass index may be. Many times these studies seem contradictory, but it's because they're really not similar at all. Dark chocolate and red wine are not the secret to better health. The problems? They're released to the public early, preliminarily. A new study finds heavy drinkers actually live longer than folks who abstain from alcohol. Or news anchors have to fit a detailed scientific study into a 30-second blurb. Even a few drinks a week could increase a woman's risk of getting breast cancer. So what's the result? Journalism professor Dr. Rebecca Nagler authored a study on, get this, health studies and found that the confusion can lead to nutrition backlash. You might ultimately stop listening to the recommendations that um, we feel pretty good about. As basic as eating fruits and veggies, she says, a list of ways to cut through the clutter don't make drastic decisions based on one study. Wait for issued recommendations from credible organizations and be mindful of words like preliminary, small study, and particularly associated or linked. It's whether or not you see that something's associated or linked versus if something's causing something else. So maybe the next time you hear, study shows a new study, a recent study, study found that it won't leave you feeling so overwhelmed. They now believe stress can be contagious. <sighs> For the list, I'm Erin Christie.